hello guys on my last tutorial uh, we saw about the self tuning memory parameter and in this class uh, i'll be talking about the database memory and the database memory threshold okay so uh, basically what is database memory okay Just to understand what is database memory let's uh, look at this uh, ppt okay so and i use the same pip uh, slide on my self tuning uh, memory parameter where I said that database memory is part of the self-tuning uh, memory, right? Now, database memory itself can be divided into various consumers, memory consumers, okay? So the biggest uh, of this will be the buffer pool, then you have the sort heap, package cache, lock list, catalog cache, utility heap, this is for the backups and restores buffer, database heap, the log buffer, okay? So all these things sum up to the database memory. So for example, if I allocate database uh, memory to 5 GB, okay, the sum of this cannot exceed 5 GB. Okay. Uh, so what I what we can uh, say is like the memory for all this uh, internal consumers is being allocated from the database memory. Okay. Uh, now, not all the memory is allocated to the con uh, like to different consumers. Some of the memory is kept in in a cache. Okay and that cache can some sometime will be referred to as overflow memory okay so uh, depending on the need of each memory consumers uh, that uh, the unused memory can be given to any of this uh, consumers depending on the workload okay and uh, your database memory cannot exceed the set uh, the setting set by the instance memory for example if you have set the instance memory to 10 gb and you would like to set the database memory to 11 GB, it is not possible. Okay, so your database memory is limited by your instance memory, and these are the various uh, memory consumers of the database memory. Okay, and among this uh, four, this four and the database memory is part of the self tuning memory configuration. Okay, now. Uh, if we go to uh, go to the next slide. Uh, now, uh, one thing I missed when I explained about the instance memory was how um, you can set the instance memory on what what is the max value, right? What is the max value of the instance memory you can set on your system? Now we know that on a Unix or a Linux system uh, we have a concept of swap or paging memory. Okay. Now basically that um, you use it part of a disk to act as a, uh, a RAM or, or, or you can say it's a real memory, right? Now, so if you say, um, I have a 5 GB of RAM on my system, okay, which is the real memory, and I have another 5 GB of uh, swap memory, okay? Now this two sums up to be called as the virtual memory. Now I have a virtual memory of 10 GB, right? 5 GB here, 5 GB here, and my virtual memory is around 10 GB. Okay. Now when I declare the instance memory, I can declare up to a max value of the real memory only. Okay. I cannot look at the virtual memory value and uh, I can set the instance memory to 10 GB. So my instance memory value will be limited to the value of the real memory. Okay. Which should be 5 GB. Okay, now, um, but as your um, database started to work and your workload start to increase, right? And depending on the depending on the workload, uh, uh, what will happen is this uh, memory area will get defragmented. When I say it get defragmented, means uh, some of your database related pages will be moved from real memory to the swap memory okay so what I mean to say is when you define the instance memory it is set it is limited by the real memory okay but as soon but as soon as your work starts on the database it tends to move to the swap memory also but the sum of real plus swap for your database activity cannot extend cannot go beyond 5 GB hope I am I'm making it clear uh, like the sum of real plus swap for the database activity cannot 
exceed 5 GB because you are limited by instance memory of 5 GB. Okay, so when you initialize your instance memory, the value it will see is the value for your real memory. Okay, but as soon as your database get activated and your you started using the database, the sum um, will float between the real and swap memory. Okay, your basically um, the virtual memory concept try to get into uh, into place when you uh, work with the database. Okay, so I hope I'm making the thing uh, very clear here. Okay, um, the next uh, parameter is. Um, the db mem threshold okay db mem threshold so let's see uh, what um, db mem threshold is okay now imagine this is your uh, uh, ram and this is your swapping paging memory and this totally is your virtual memory and whatever you see in the light blue box cubes right uh, that is the memory currently being used by your database okay so from here till here it's all database memory and rest of the uh, memory is used by the OS or any other process now uh, uh, for example uh, you have activated your database and it's almost like 30 days now okay now there's some pages in the memory which are unused by the database okay so in this case in, ca in this case if you see the gray boxes what I want to represent here is if those pages are unused okay now when a memory uh, page is un unused at the database level uh, we can uh, tune the parameter db mem threshold so that it can release those pa pages from the allocated database memory and it can give it to other process or to OS okay so when do you want this uh, to be released okay that will be defined by the dbmem threshold now by default it is set to 10 which means when the um, total unused pages it's 10 percent of the total pages allocated right it will be freed uh, from the database memory to the OS okay now the default is uh, very much uh, very much used can be used for all the all kind of workloads okay uh, now if you set this value to zero means um, the unused page will be released immediately okay you don't want that because there will be a lot of memory thrashing going on okay and if you set to this value to 100 it means that it will never release the unused page that is also um, uh, it's not a good, good configuration right because if you uh, if you're not using a database and you're just occupying the database memory it's it's not a good thing okay so um, zero means it will be released immediately 100 means it will not be released okay and 10 is a very good setting for for all major workloads so when your unused page level re uh, reaches the 10 percent threshold automatically that page will be released and it will be given to the OS okay so that's it for today's class um, on my next class we will see the other parameters of the database parameter thanks a lot for watching